Congress leader Rahul Gandhi is currently on a visit in Ladakh and he's charged with the government of the center over the alleged China incursions. And he's now said that China has taken over our land, it's grabbed our land and we are doing nothing about it. And this has clearly become a huge political showdown. And how? After the Gandhi sign claimed that China has been grazing the land at the border, the BJP has gone all guns blazing at the Vainad Member of Parliament. BJP MP Ravi Shankar Prasad slammed Rahul Gandhi for, as he called it, leveling false charges. Union Minister Anurag Thakur also has hit out at the Congress party, highlighting it was the Congress government that never fulfilled the demand raised by people of Ladakh. Meanwhile, other parties also have jumped in the ongoing war of words between BJP and Congress. While Udhav Kamp's Member of Parliament, Sanjay Raut, has bagged the claims made by Rahul Gandhi, Lok Janashakti Chief Chirag Paswan has urged Rahul Gandhi to produce evidence if he has any information on that. So what he has said has led to a huge showdown. Listen in to reactions that have come in both from the BJP and from the Congress party. I think that Rahul Gandhi Ji should take this time and 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 take this time अगर वो एक उंगली हम पे हम पे दिखाते हैं तो चार उंगलियां उनको उनकी तरफ मुड़ती हैं बहुत बहुत बड़े प्रश्न हैं लेकिन हम हर बात को हर समय सड़क पर निकाल के नहीं उस पर बात करना चाहते हैं इसलिए कि देश की अस्पिता का सवाल है हम दुख झेल लेंगे हम थोड़ा कष्ट झेल लेंगे लेकिन हम देश की अस्पिता पर कोई कहीं पर कोई असर नहीं लगे चीन ने अपना कब्जा बना लिया है उसके एविडेंस भी सामने आए हैं लेकिन अगर हमारे डिफेंस मिनिस्टर हमारे प्रधानमंत्री ये बात मानने को तैयार नहीं है तो लगता है ये भारत माता के साथ एक प्रकार से हम लोग ना इंसाफी कर रहे मैं बेईमानी नहीं बोलूंगा ना इंसाफी कर रहे और राहुल जी ने बात कही है कि चाइना ने अपनी जमीन कब्जे में लिया है उसके ऊपर प्रधानमंत्री हो या डिफेंस मिनिस्टर हो कोई लोगों को गुमराह करने की जरूरत नहीं है सच बताइए यह राहुल जी का कहना है so Rahul Gandhi has been bike riding on uh, the streets in Ladakh and that has had uh, led to this political showdown with this comment on China. Let's go across to Ashraf Vani who's tracking the latest on that. Ashraf, clearly his comment was targeting government at the center and this has become uh, reactions from both sides. Is he still in Ladakh? What are you picking up about the details of his visit right now, specifically the manner in which the China issue has come forth? Pooja, actually this is one of the longest long uh, tours of Rahul Gandhi uh, in Ladakh. It is the fourth day and he is still in the Ladakh. Uh, he mostly visited the uh, important locations in the Leh Ladakh. He went to Pangong Lake where yesterday he offered prayers for uh, his father, uh, late Raju Gandhi. And then also he interacted with the youths, with the locals, with the villagers on LAC as well as played football. The main attraction of the Rahul's trip to Ladakh was uh, he drove from Leh to uh, uh, Pangong Lake, which is almost the distance of 170 kilometers on bike. And yesterday he also has posted his Ladakh diaries on the social media. So uh, uh, as uh, uh, first of all, he said that he has was um, supposed to visit the Ladakh during the Bharat Yatra, but that could not happen. And now, uh, this may be the part of the Bharat Jodo Yatra, as it will be extended further before 2024 elections by Rahul Gandhi. But one of the main things what we pick up from this tour is that basically uh, not only the Congress wants to uh, bring back its glory in the Ladakh region, because till 2020-14, this was a stronghold of Congress, and every time the uh, member of parliament uh, chosen from the Ladakh region was of Congress party. But in 2014 elections, there was some rivalry in the Congress candidates uh, that uh, resulted the victory of the Bharatiya Janata Party candidate from uh, Leh Ladakh first time. Uh, uh, after that, the party has uh, put strong uh, hold once again in the council elections and uh, that is picking up there.
number two is that Ladakh is the main uh, issue for the Congress to attack the government and attacking Correct. the government on the channel issue from the uh, LAC is in itself a big attack on the government because since 2020, uh, not only Congress but mostly opposition mm -hmm. parties believe that the China has intruded into the Indian territory in Ladakh and yesterday Rahul Gandhi himself said that if you will not uh, believe me, you mm -hmm. can ask anyone here who is living on the line of actual control, a person from the Ladakh, he will tell you the full story. So it is a long dispute between India and uh, China in Ladakh on the perception of the line of actual control. But attacking the government from mm. the Ladakh uh, is um, giving a kind of a big issue for the opposition before 2024 election here in the Thank you so much, Ashraf. That's a very interesting perspective he's giving because remember, for a very long time, it was the stronghold for the Congress Party. But in the past few years, we have had the BJP Member of Parliament, Jamyang Serang Namgyal, who's been uh, the, the Member of Parliament from Ladakh. And in many ways, it is the Congress trying to show that under the BJP, that allegedly Ladakh, uh, that Ladakh area and land has been overtaken by, the, by China. And uh, BJP is saying, all of that happened when Congress party was in power, when you had the control over Ladakh. Look what had happened. You never listened to them. We were the ones that made eventually into a union territory.